Hey guys, great day at Johnson RV. This is, my name is Garrett Morgan and we're gonna be taking a look at the 2015 and a half Unity Island Bed. Um, overall, really nice shape. Um, this is gonna be one of our premium pre-owned coaches. So we take the time to extensively recondition if needed and inspection process. So we can put a lot of money into these units um, to make them new light quality. So go ahead and come on with me. We'll take a look at what the outside has to offer. No full body paint. It's gonna be on the Mercedes Sprinter van chassis, uh, three liter, six cylinder. You'll notice right off the bat with these compartments, really nice frog glass doors. They're gonna be stainless steel lined with carpet and then a nice gasket so that way they're sealed up so you can put those valuable items and keep them nice and stored away without getting damaged to the elements. You got furnace, you got overhead awning with LED strip on the outside so that way you can access that LED strip um, when the awning's in or out. It can be put at any length so if you are parked next to a house you know or if you just want to set up um, and just have a little bit of rain coverage definitely capability there. Automatic skid step and then we're going to have a larger storage compartment down below here. Same style And then we're gonna have outside power, so that way if you decide to run anything on the outside, like a TV or different lightings, you can definitely do so there. And this, this one's gonna have your generator underneath here. And then we've got more storage here. So if you've got different things with you, definitely gonna be nice to have that outside storage. That's what that B Plus offers. Now the cool thing about the island bed is that you get a giant pass-through storage. So in a B-plus model like this, um, it's really nice to be able to put your fishing poles, be able to put your ladders, your outside barbecue, your camping chairs, and a lot of things like that, or even throw some kids in there. Um, coming around to the back, you're gonna have your generator exhaust. You're gonna have your hitch receiver down below. So if you are a person that wants to tow a car, definitely capability with this Unity. You've got a 5,000 pound tow rating and a 500 pound tongue weight. So if you wanna put a bike rack, or anything like that, you can do so as well. You have a seven way plug here, get that power. Does have a ladder, um, as you see, so you can access the top there. And then integrated in backup camera, so when you are doing those tight spot reverses, um, or you just wanna keep an eye on the road as you're driving, definitely a nice feature there. Gives you about a 160 degrees worth of view. The driver's side, once again, this is gonna be the opposing side to access your pass-through storage. All carpeted lined, really nice. Provides quite a bit of space. And then Leisure Travel is notorious for putting their utility center all in one area so it's easy accessible. You're gonna have winterization valve over here so that way it's easy to pull antifreeze into your system during the winter months if needed or you can actually pull water um, on board. Outside shower, cable and satellite coax hookups. You got your city water connection point, propane shutoff, propane fill. You're gonna have a uh, fresh water fill and then you've got a macerator on this unit. So that's gonna be really convenient. So that's gonna be like a garbage disposal for your house, but it's gonna be for your black waters. Less mess. Coming around up to the side, you'll see that this is gonna be the frameless windows. So they're awning style, so they'll actually open up this direction. So that way they can be open when it's raining and shed that water off rather than letting the water get in. Water heater panel, one 30 amp connection point. And then once again, if you're looking for that storage in a B-Van style, it's gonna provide quite a bit here. So we've got a ton of storage throughout the whole outside here. It's a lot of storage. You got your sewer hose. So if, you're, if you decide to go without your mass reader, if it fails for whatever reason, you're not left stranded without. And then you got your fuel door spot. So once your, door, your driver door is opened up, you can do diesel fill there lock it up that way so go ahead and come on the inside and we'll take a look hey guys garrett morgan again looking at the inside of one of our premium pre-owned coaches this is a leisure travel unity island bed uh 15 and a, 2015 and a half so that's going to be the year where they did the upgrade so it's going to be the different body style the skylight and a lot of other features that i definitely go into um you're going to notice uh, both chairs are going to be able to turn around 
Mercedes is notorious for making their seats really uh, adjustable. So you're gonna have that lumbar support, that back adjustment, as well as bottom pitch, um, and it slides very good. So if you're taller or shorter, there's a lot of capabilities, a lot of leg room if you are taller, but also it's really adjustable if you're shorter, so that way you are comfortable while sitting there. Um, and then they both turn around, so that adds for a nice seating area in the living room here. You do have nice storage up above here. So you're gonna notice Leisure Travel's cabinetry is gonna be all solid wood, carpet lined in the inside, and then you've got all your manuals up here. So that way all your things are with you as you go. Um, and then as far as the sitting goes here, the darker interior, um, uh, ultra leather so this is going to be a tear resistant um, stain resistant as well as a water resistant material so when you're camping you know and you're going to be a little bit rougher on things than your normal household items definitely going to hold up um, and keep its shape as well as, as look um, nice thing is you do have seat belts here so if you are driving to a location you definitely have the capability of having your passengers or guests ride with you so that's a really nice feature that this offers and then you have the tabletop that has the leafs that come off to the side here so if you are having more people you've got a little bit more room as far as making dinner and different meals there um, and the table is removable you can put some lower legs on it and turn this into a bed so if you just need that third person to sleep in here with you it's definitely an option coming around to the kitchen side gas burner stove top so this is two burner it's got an igniter on it so you don't have to worry about self-lighting it and then you've got drawer space throughout the whole coach which is once again really solid cabinetry low miles on this unit hasn't been used a whole lot so everything's going to be pretty stiff still hasn't even really been truly broken in um, more upper head storage here as well as some satellite is where you hook up um, for satellite on your TV if you have a direct box or dish or whatever network you have. So a good amount of storage in here. A lot of lighting throughout. Big stainless steel sink. Storage down below here. So a lot of, a lot of pots and pans storage space. And then you're going to have your battery disconnect down in the lower portion. This does have a screen door on it, so you're able to get that fresh air in. A lot of dimmable lighting controls here, as well as outside LEDs here. Convection microwave, so that way if you do need to do your baking, you can do it there. And then you've got your fridge and freezer, which provides quite a bit of space. This is going to be a 120, um, a 12 volt and propane. Um, and it's got auto, so that way it'll switch it over for you. So definitely capable for off-grid or on-grid if you're you know, doing park camping or just out in the national forest areas. Coming towards the back bedroom here, pretty nice setup. Um, it's gonna be an island bed, so it allows you to have walk around on both sides, so that way you're not gonna be disturbing your partner when you're getting out of bed. Um, there is a step up, but nice lighting, so that way it just kind of has a, a nice homey feeling in this unit. And then you're gonna have a lot of storage up above. You have his and hers closet space. So you're not gonna be fighting over that for sure. And then you got some nice reading lights through here. The nice thing about this is you do have the pass-through storage on the outside, but then a lot of people are looking for inside storage too. And the cabinetry is sometimes not enough. So you look at the amount of space you can put down there as far as you know chairs or different things like that, bedding, um, extra pillows, a lot of things. And then your water tanks under here as well as your inverter. So it's an easy access panel. To get to and then you've got a good amount of drawer space here so we've got big deep drawers and then you've got the split bath so you got your toilet on one side so that's going to allow somebody to be using the restroom or getting ready in the morning and then you're going to have the shower on the opposite side so that's going to be so that way somebody can be showering somebody can be using the restroom and that shower door will actually make a nice privacy for the bedroom here um, so overall Beautiful unit. Um, this is going to be the 2015 and a half, so it's going to have the new additional upgrades that Leisure Travel did to their Unity. It's got the back bedroom TV, frameless windows, full body paint. Um, my name is Garrett Morgan. If you guys come out to Johnson RV, I'd be happy to show you guys this.